Hey YouTube, what's up? Scarecrow here. I am here today to do an updated profile on my standard OTT. So, uh, to get started, uh, obviously, I have a starter. does the same thing as every starter. Uh, trigger lineup is 8 crit, 4 draw, for heal as if it would be anything else in this deck. Uh, grade ones for Fafale Magus, for Circle Magus, uh, two Luckbird. I want to play three, but I don't have room for it right now because for my last grade one spot, playing uh, three Gus or Forbearance. This card is really good. Um, it's a promo that recently came out, and you. Counterblast, retire it, draw three. At the end of your turn, you discard three. So it is a negative one. This card makes the deck so much consistent and lets you just like gather up cards, pull out a huge offense. Like it's a really good card. Like, like for example, let's say like you're on your second turn and you haven't gotten a grade three yet. Here's a way to draw three cards and get there. Um there's a lot of like great things this like I've like actually top decked this card before and obviously when you're top decking this is like the best case scenario so it's a really good card if you haven't tried it you probably should it's pretty good um I'm not saying I would necessarily play three I'm playing three right now because it's pretty good and I like it I could see myself cutting down on it though but I like this card a lot uh, so that's it for the grade ones, for the grade twos, uh, for Promise Daughter, the amazing card, one of the best cards in for, uh, Standard, I think. Um, playing for Mimi, uh, I'm a huge fan of Mimi and for Fale. Uh, I would think a lot of people only play like three Mimi, but the consistency that this card gives is just so good that I, I like playing four of it, so... I could see why someone wouldn't want to play 4, but I play 4 just because I love the card so much. And my last grade 2, I'm playing 2 Battle Sister Tort. Um, she's also a new promo who's really good. Uh, if you have at least 10 cards in your hand, she gets plus 10 in a crit. So, um, Goddess of Forbearance help makes this card, like, live. And this card is obviously really threatening, being, like, an 18 with a crit. Um, on your, like... Deer turns, it's like super good. Like, uh, for example, when I was playing this card last night at a tournament, I went to my deer turn and uh, they blocked the vanguard, then tort swung at them for like 66, four damage. <laughs> like, it's a really good card. Um, yeah, you can even utilize it early game because of uh, Gust of Forbearance Lane, you draw lots of cards and drawing into the card. Uh, for grade threes, which will surprise no one. For Imperial Daughter, for CEO, and two Deer. Pretty standard. Um, but yeah, that is a, was a really quick video. Um, I'm sure no one is too surprised by anything. OTT is pretty well known. But uh, I hope you guys uh, appreciate giving seeing my uh, updated look at the deck. So thank you for watching.